I'll keep it there. Okay. Hello. Um, so my story is I was driving from New Hampshire to Pennsylvania. Uh, it was about one o'clock in the morning. And so to keep myself awake, I'd had about three energy drinks by that point. Um, I was also on my cell phone and not wearing a seatbelt. So I pretty much had just like walked right out of one of those brochures of like how to safely operate your vehicle. <laughs> yes, poster child for safety. So talking to my friend and she's like, all right, you know what? I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Drive safe. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I always drive safe. <laughs> Within a few seconds, I'd seen this thing that kind of looked like a speed bump, realized I couldn't swerve in either direction, so that's all that could happen. Now, I had had three cans of caffeine at this point, so my neuroticism was processing freakouts at an alarming rate. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, what was that, what was that, what was that? Uh, Clearly, it was a body bag. <laughs> yup. Only logical explanation. Body bag. Oh my gosh. So as I'm driving, I look up, and I see this sign that says, Amber Alert. Child has been abducted. If you see this vehicle, please call the authorities. Oh my god. I just ran over the kid. <laughs> and I'm like, what do I do now? What do I do? Do I go back? Do I check on it? I should check on it. No, then you'll go back to the scene of the crime. Everything will be pinned on you. And it was an accident, it was an accident, I swear to God, oh my gosh. I should call 911. I get on the phone, I'm, okay, 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 okay. Yes, hello, I would like to report an obstruction on the highway. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I'm just a little scared that it might cause an accident or something, so maybe you can send someone out and, you know, move the obstruction, because I wouldn't want an accident to happen, you know. Oh, no, no, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, you have a good night, too. Okay, great, bye-bye. Oh, my God, oh, my God. All right, I've done my part, I've done my part. Just keep going, conscience is clear, just keep driving, just get home. And about 10 minutes later, someone drives up next to me and is like, and I'm like, what? what? And he's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Like, okay. So I pull over to find that whatever I had driven over, um, I had been dragging for the last 20 miles. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, now what? Okay, this is great. I have to like climb under my car and unravel it from the muffler and drag it out, because you know, at this point, my luck, it would get caught on the tire and I'd bring it all the way home. So I'm like, okay, all right, we're done, we're done. And I know that most of you are thinking like, okay, so what was it? Well, here's the thing. There were no lights on the highway on this stretch, and I had been freaking myself out for so long that I actually couldn't process what it was. Could have been a sheet, could have been a theater curtain, but all I knew was that my brake light shining off of it meant that it was clearly a bloody body bag. <laughs> and I was like, I obviously hit it so hard that it came with me and whatever's back there, you know what? Not my problem. Not my problem. Just need to calm down. I just need to calm down. And so I got back in the car and I opened up another energy drink to calm down and just drove on away. <laughs> And that's my own road story. <laughs>